right, good morning, good morning. It is 2.22 a.m. April 29th, 2020. And I am on my way to the gym. You know what I think is the strangest secret? That was a that was a book by Napoleon Hill, The Strangest Secret. You know what I think is the strangest secret? Is that if you give anything enough time, literally anything, you give anything enough time, and you can make so much happen. I mean, let's take for instance weight loss. If you commit to not drinking soda, and let's say you commit to fast food only twice a week instead of seven times. Let's say you commit to that. Over a period of time, you will start to lose so much weight just from making those two very simple adjustments. And I didn't even say... I didn't even say give up fast food. I said cut it down to two days. But cut out the, the, the soda, the sugar. And people will become so impatient. They'll say it's not working. I got thyroid problems. I got big bones. I thought it was funny when Les Brown said he ain't never seen a fat skeleton. That stuck with me for a long time. I ain't never had, I, I used to think that because I got Native American blood in me. I was like, you ever seen a skinny Native American? you ever seen a fat skeleton? The strangest secret is that if you focus, I mean truly focus on anything, you can make it happen. I'll tell you the other, the other part of that strangest secret. Everything you think you're going to need to accomplish anything that you think you want to accomplish, you already have. Now, you might not have it on a scale of where you want to be, but whatever you need to get started, you already have. When we went on this quarantine, it was weird. I didn't like working out from home. I, it, I, you know, it was just hard to find motivation. But sure enough, when quarantine jumped off, I've been working at home every single day, working out, working. I have an office and working out. I have my own gym. And what I did not think I had enough of, I had it. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna emerge out of this thing big and buff. I'm gonna emerge out leaner, more defined, more cut. Because I don't have what I need to get to that level. But I have what I need to make improvements. So same, strangest secret number two is whatever you need to get to that next level you already got. And I think that's the I think that's one of the strangest ones for the simple fact there's been so many times that I've bought stuff. Let's say I go out today and I go buy something. And I might buy it and look at it and say, why did I buy this? Never fails. Now I'm one of those people if I believe I need it, I'll keep it. 
if I can't if I can't justify the expense, I'll take it back. But sometimes I'll I'll say I need it. I'll identify its need, but I won't use it. And there's been times when I wouldn't use it. And then a year or two down the road, it was exactly the thing I needed. That's a reality most people aren't ready for. Because it's too easy to fall into the self-loathing mentality of I can't get started because I don't have what I need. And it allows everybody to make the excuse of why they haven't started to try and to achieve their goals. But I've experienced this on more than one occasion. that you always have what you need. Never fails. And a lot of people won't, they won't make it because they have no idea how these laws work. There's been so many times when I could not see the light at the end of the road that I pressed forward in faith and I said, there's got to be. And I tell you, God is my witness. Every single time. been provided for. Can't teach that. You got to be able to look real, real close within. And accept the responsibility. Be willing to walk further than your eye can see. Believe that you're not walking in vain. Believe that you're walking into your destiny. And miracles literally start to happen. I mean, you can call it the strangest secret, strangest phenomenon, whatever you want to call it. But the law works in a way that If you want it bad enough, you can have it. And everything that you ever thought you needed to go get it was provided for you years ago. I mean, literally years ago. You just have to have a made up mind that you're not going to quit at the sign of resistance.